big th- interest, obviously, for Toro Rosso this year is the Honda engine. And uh, they, so far, it's been reliable. It's certainly been powerful enough. And it appears to be a very different engine, at least audibly. Um, in the pit lane, it's very loud. There's a real brap to the uh, blip of the throttle. And out on track, when the cars are on the overrun into corners and then accelerating out, you haven't had that really uncomfortable, uh, horrible sound from the engine as the, the anti-lag uh, cuts in. So, yeah, clearly Honda have been doing some work over the winter and that's already starting to pay off the, you know, Toro Rosso are getting quite a lot of running in and uh, the fans are getting their money's worth with a nice sounding engine. Are we to take from that perhaps a philosophy of keeping the car as simple and as reliable as possible while all the 2018 focus is placed on the Honda engine development? It certainly seems to be the uh, the theme so far. Um, you know, the, the car is still quite a complicated car. That carries over from last year. But you know, there wasn't that year-on-year year change that perhaps we would have expected. And yes, you know, certainly both sides seem to be working very well together. All the noises about communication and understanding each side uh, is coming across in all the, you know, the, the discussions and the press releases that the team have been having with us. So hopefully this is you know, a much better approach to a relationship with Honda than perhaps we've seen with uh, McLaren over the past few years. Scarbs, you mentioned earlier that the front wing has regressed a little bit to some degree on the new car. Can you expand on that? This year they've gone back to the more traditional, what we describe as thumb tip nose, which was a much wider nose uh, with a little tip sticking out at the end. They've gone back that direction and they've put some slots in it. So in some respects, you could argue that's a step backwards, but they still have this raised front suspension, which is really good for the aerodynamics. The side pods, as we say, they haven't changed there. A slightly different take uh, on a conventional side pod. They're still trying to maximize the maximum height, but they haven't had that structural change like the Ferrari, the Williams, the Haas, etc., that have changed the inlet and the crash structures inside. But then again, you know, you've got details like the barge boards, the slots across the floor in front of the rear tires. Huge amount of complexity there. Really interesting car to look at. <laughs>